What does it mean to you, to your family, to come back home and play college football? I know for my friends and families, uh, they're all excited for me to go back home and be closer to them because I left the island for about three years now. My family decided that, uh, that I got the opportunity. I love Norm Chow and his whole stuff that he brought in, and I know they can help me out and become a better player. After three years away, he's coming home. John Ursua, Kailua Kono, born and raised, moved to Utah his sophomore year in high school, played quarterback at Cedar High School. He's given his verbal commitment to play college football here at UH. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. John Ursua represents the seventh commitment for Norm Chow and his coaching staff. As a kid in Kona, before entering Kealakehe Intermediate School, Ursua was part of the Hawaiian language immersion program. So this is truly coming home. Hawaiian was my first language. I, I didn't start going to Kalakei until eighth grade. Are you still able to talk and understand Hawaiian language? Yeah, I, I still speak and uh, understand it fine. I'm like pretty fluent with it. Uh, Ursua's 5'10", 180 pounds, threw for 1,008 yards last season, rushed for 1,539 yards, 16 touchdowns. QB, slot back, receiver, doesn't care where they put him. Coming home, he says, awesome enough. Ursua was the seventh get for the Warriors under Norm Chow. Joining offensive lineman Gus Lovaca, tight end Clark Evans, defensive back Ron Fields, fellow old lineman Leo Kolo Matangi and Kihasai, along with Kahuku linebacker Benny Fonua, National Letter of Intent Day is February 1st. After splitting their road trip at Fresno State and Nevada over the weekend, UH men's basketball team back in action tomorrow night, hosting Louisiana Tech. Big concern whether or not this guy will play point guard, Jeremiah Ostrowski, one of only seven in the country to play basketball and football He's suffering from a staph infection. You know, he's out again today. I just talked to the doctor and uh, won't be able to practice, so uh, it'll probably be a game time decision if, if he'll be able to go. It's uh, something that uh, you obviously got to be careful with and something that uh, we're treating, but uh, you know, hasn't responded that much yet, so uh, he's, he's, st he's still got it. Now, Myers played in 11 games this season, tops on the team with 68 assists, WAC leading nine per game compared to only 21 turnovers. If Ostrowski is a no-go, he'll be replaced in the lineup by either freshman Shaquille Stokes or sophomore Bobby Miles. Shaq and Bobby are both guys that have uh, played a lot of minutes and, and, and we'll, we'll be fine. We'll just have to pick up his minutes. And that's why we got those guys. That's why we're deep at that position. That's one position that you can't go down in. It's, it's your quarterback. And, and uh, we're three deep there. And so I fully expect uh, both Shaq and Bobby to step right in there and, and lead the team. Now, Rainbow Warriors 10 and 7 overall, 2 and 1 in the WAC. Bulldogs 0 and 3 in conference. Tip off around 7:30 after the Rainbow Wahine hosts La Tech. So that matchup scheduled for 5 o'clock. All the best guys from Hawaii and all the top juniors out here. So, you know, you just got to be on your A game because, um, you know, all these guys are real good and they can just perform. So you just got to go out there and um, just make it happen. That's Kamehameha senior Ezekiel Lau, former high school national champion. One of the over 100 under 21 wave riders entered in the North Shore Surf Shop Pro Junior Surf Meet at Sunset Beach this week. It's the top junior event in the country in 2012. Even the girls getting involved like Mahina Maeda in her home break. I think it's really important because there's no junior pros on the North Shore or anywhere on the Hawaiian Islands. And especially this is my home break and I love Sunset. And representing Hawaii is really good, and I like it. Now, Maeda and this young lady, Brianna Cope, both made it to the girls' final surf permitting. Contest resumes tomorrow. 26 grand in prize money up for grabs. Man, for those high school students, yes. that's, that's pretty good. Ooh, and I'm that. still freaking out that Paul said Minnesota's minus 50. <laughs> and, and what did he say? It was Minnesota cold? Minnesota. Is that oh, what Paul said? Boy. Who lives there? <laughs> Minus 50. People who don't mind an awful lot of layers. Here. All right, thanks, Paul. Yep. All right, Robert.